Good day, my beloved brothers and sisters in Christ. Timothy 3 verses 1 to 16, it says, The saying is trustworthy, if anyone aspires to the office of overseer, he desires a noble task. Therefore, an overseer must be above reproach, the husband of one wife, sober-minded, self-controlled, respectable, hospitable, and able to teach. Not a drunkard, not violent, but gentle, not quarrelsome, not a lover of money. He must manage his household well, with all dignity, keeping his children submissive. For if someone does not know how to manage his household, how will he care for God's church? God delivered Father Michel Rodrigue a prophetic message, in which he talks about what would happen to the church, specifically to Pope Francis and Pope Emeritus Benedict. According to Father Michel, for a long time, people have entered the church with the sole purpose of changing sound doctrine. An ecumenical mass will be launched in the church, first by various religious leaders, then by a committee of bishops, and as the last step, this mass model will be proposed to the Holy Father, Pope Francis, in Rome. According to Father Michel, the Antichrist has always desired to sit on the throne of Peter. Pope Francis will be like Peter the Apostle, he will realize his faults, he will strive to reunite the church under the authority of Christ, but he will no longer be able to do so. And he says, I saw him frail and vulnerable, being held on both sides by two Swiss guards. I observed him fleeing Rome as a result of the widespread destruction. He is hiding, but he will be found, and I saw his martyr. Pope Francis will die a martyr's death once again. Now, our Blessed Mother appears and warns, the situation soon happened with the seed of Peter, which Pope Francis is now in reign. Our Blessed Mother, adorned in radiant light, says, My beloved children, obtain for yourselves the heavenly medicines, the oil of the Good Samaritan that I have prescribed. Applying a few drops upon your loved ones and yourselves for protection from these sicknesses that will soon plague mankind. A hazardous fungus that attacks the tissue of the human brain has mutated. The oil of the Good Samaritan carries my son's blessings of healing and protection from all sicknesses that plague humanity. My children, the end draws increasingly closer as the seed of Peter becomes consumed by darkness. Pray, my children, pray for Rome, where heresies have originated, spreading throughout the church and contaminating the hearts and minds of humanity. My beloved children, renew your minds daily by praying my rosary of light that exposes the darkness that surrounds you. My children, remember always my promises and let your prayers be without ceasing. Thus saith your loving mother. There will be a hazardous fungus poisons the brain of humanity, bringing the end of Peter's seat. Many people will die. Our Pope will end his throne, and no one can save us except God. God sends his prophets to communicate to his people what is going to happen, his designs, and his purposes. But only through prayer and fasting that you can change part of this prophecy, such as the story of Nineveh, where God sent Jonah to warn the people that he would destroy them. But through their prayer, God had compassion and forgave Nineveh. The essence of the Holy Mass will never vanish, nor will the Church, for the forces of Satan will never win against it. We will always find faithful priests and bishops who will preserve the genuine doctrine. As in 2 Corinthians 11 verses 13 to 15, the Bible says, For such men are false apostles, deceitful workmen, disguising themselves as apostles of Christ. And no wonder, for even Satan disguises himself as an angel of light. So, it is no surprise if his servants also disguise themselves as servants of righteousness. Their end will correspond to their deeds. So, saints, let pray continuously for Pope Francis, as well as all the priests, bishops, and preachers, that our Lord Jesus will pour down his blessings upon them and give them the grace to do everything for the good of his church. But most importantly, to make the greatest decisions for people under their guidance and supervision. And that we, the faithful, will always follow the real magisterium of the Church and seek to come closer to God day by day. And that we will do all necessary to help all of our loved ones, most significantly, regardless of whether the words are profitable. All clerics are in the religious order spiritually and in prayer. 
It is always a good idea to be prepared for the apocalypse and our spiritual connection and well-being with God since we never know when we may die. And we should always preserve the oil in our lamps. Lord help us to discern these times. Father in heaven, may your spirit guide my every decision today. Lead me with your wisdom and allow me to see things as they are so that I do not fall victim to people's deception. Keep me safe from harm, from wicked people who try to cheat me, spare me from the con artists who do not care who they defraud and how much damage they cause. Give me the discernment to recognize and avoid their schemes and their evil intentions. Loving Lord, thank you that Jesus came to die for the sins of humanity and those that trust in him will not be condemned but have eternal life. Thank you, Lord, that all believers are part of your body, that you bought us all with a price, and that our citizenship is in heaven with you forevermore. Lord, I bring every member of your body to you in prayer, and Lord, I pray that as the day gets increasingly more evil, you will guard and guide all those that have been purchased with the precious blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Sanctify your body, Lord, sanctify your church. I pray with the washing of the cleansing water that comes from your word, purify all those that are your children. Help each one to draw ever closer in these difficult days so that they may be presented to you a holy church, a sanctified body without any stain or wrinkle or any other sort of blemish. May your church be set apart for you, perfect and blameless in all things. Draw every one of your children closer to you in thought and word and deed to your praise and your honor in Jesus' name I pray Amen.